Welcome to DX Assist Workflow Videos. Welcome to the main workflow for editing film dialogue using DX Assist. We start by performing an assembly, which means syncing the original production audio from the field recorder with the edited picture. So let's begin by importing the AAF file. The file contains eight tracks. As you can see, the tracks are divided into mix L and R, which indicates a production mix down from the film set. This is what the picture editor used, rather than isolated source material. This structure is consistent throughout the entire episode. Below, we have tracks containing music. The first thing I'll do is organize this material. I'll prepare three stereo tracks for music and two for sound effects. Of course, in a real workflow, this would be done more thoroughly. But for demonstration purposes, I'll move quickly. We move the music here. This looks like music, and this does too. Of course, not every AAF from the editor is this well organized. Sometimes things can be a lot messier. But regardless of the initial state, we still need to clean it up and organize the session before we begin proper dialogue editing. Now, we're left only with the dialogue. Except for this one sound, which we can move to the effects tracks. And one last piece of music. Let's add some color coding to the tracks for better visual organization. This makes it much easier to navigate the session during the mix or final edit. In the end, we've got three music tracks and two for sound effects. As we can see, the picture edit was done using the mix, so in reality, we only have two tracks that will serve as the basis for assembling the original production sound from the field recorder. To simplify and speed things up for this demonstration, I'll combine those two tracks into a single track. Of course, this is just for demonstration purposes. In a real workflow, each track should be processed individually. We merge them into one, and this single track will serve as a guide track for the assembly process. We'll now hide the music and effects tracks. Using Pro Tools, Ultimate, we can convert this track into a field recorder guide track and then specify where the original location sound files are stored. The catalog begins indexing, and in the meantime, I configure the appropriate match criteria. In this case, I'm using time code plus scene, and I group clips by channel number. While the material is indexing, we wait a moment. And once it's ready, we can run the assembly by selecting expand channels by match criteria. This will take a moment. In my case, we're doing the assembly using Pro Tools, but you can also use other tools like Eddyload or Kraken. The result should be the same either way. In some cases, you might receive a multi-track layout directly within the AAF, without a proper assembly. If you're unable to create a clean assembly from that, you can skip straight to the track organization step and send the prepared material directly to DX Assist. As you can see, the material has been assembled, but we need to tidy it up a bit.
we have Boom 1 and Boom 2, as well as several lav mic tracks. We'll compare the tracks and remove any unnecessary audio so that we're left with a clean and organized session. Pro Tools assembly is not always perfect, but if the editorial AAF and source recordings are properly prepared and include metadata, the results are usually good enough. The process mainly focuses on removing duplicate tracks and cleaning up the session. For the assembly stage, we can also use dedicated tools like Kraken or Etalode. But Pro Tools can handle it too, though it sometimes requires a bit more manual organization and cleanup. We'll delete the production mix tracks and keep the two boom tracks and the remaining labs. For clarity, we'll label and color the tracks accordingly. With the session organized like this, we're now ready to begin dialogue editing using DX Assist. In this presentation, I'm going to walk you through the first stage of dialogue editing. My goal here is to clean up all unnecessary sounds from the lavalier tracks, things like clothing rustle, background noise, and general hiss. I'm also going to use the vertical processing feature to automatically select the best signal source, especially in cases where there's mic bleed from other channels. Let's get started. First, I select all the lav tracks I want to process, and then export them as a new AAF file. I'm choosing Wave Embedded as the export format. All other settings stay on their default tabs. Now, I just enter the file name and start the export. In this case, we're working with over an hour of material across six tracks, so the export will take a little while. But it's a small price to pay considering the huge time savings DX Assist provides. Within the app, you'll also find several parameters that can significantly affect the processing results. I encourage you to check out our other workflow videos, where I go into detail on how each setting works and how to get the most out of them. Since DX Assist works with AAF files, it can be used not only by Pro Tools users, but also by those working in other DAWs like Nuendo, Studio One, or Samplitude. It's even useful for film editors working in Avid Media Composer or Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's switch over to DX Assist. I open the AAF file we just prepared. The program automatically detects the number of tracks and clips. I'm leaving everything selected for processing and I'm not changing any of the default settings. I enable the vertical processing option and click process. Before starting, I rename the output file. It's best to add something like underscore DXA at the end. The program now begins processing. In my case, all the media files are stored on an external NAS server. But even so, the processing speed is very good. We're working with six tracks on a project that's just over an hour long. Of course, processing time may vary depending on your drive speed and CPU performance. In the meantime, you can start preparing your Pro Tools session for the next stage of the workflow, which I'll walk you through in just a moment. In this case, the total processing time was under four minutes. Let's go back to Pro Tools, where I'm about to import the processed material. But before I do that, I'll make a copy of the original lav tracks, just in case. I duplicate the tracks and hide them. It's always a good idea to have access to the untouched source. I make the originals inactive and hide them from view. Next, just below the original tracks, I import the new versions generated by DX Assist. The number of tracks stays the same, but the content has changed significantly. 
When comparing the original laugh tracks with the new ones, you'll notice that DX Assist has removed everything that wasn't human speech. It also selected the best available signal source, automatically removing inferior or duplicated content. The material is now ready for editing, but there's one issue. We've lost the metadata. Unfortunately, Pro Tools doesn't include metadata when exporting to AAF. Another limitation is that audio clips are truncated to the handle length. Thankfully, we have a dedicated workflow to solve this. Once again, I duplicate the original assembly tracks. I give them a different color to help keep things organized. Next, I use the Grabber tool to select the processed clips from DX Assist and move, or copy, them onto the newly duplicated tracks. Then, I cut the selected material. What's left behind are the leftovers. Everything DX Assist removed. Now I select those leftovers, again using the Grabber tool, and move them back onto the original assembly tracks. One more. Delete, and voila. What's left on the duplicated tracks is exactly what DX Assist prepared, but now using the original production audio. We've successfully preserved all metadata, and we can now stretch or trim clips freely without any handle limitations. Now I delete all the intermediate tracks, and I'm left with a clean, ready-to-use session. What I've got is a fully prepared dialogue assembly, ready for the next stage of editing. From this point on, I can focus entirely on the creative side of the process, selecting alternate takes, cleaning up background noise, and fine-tuning performances. We can now apply auto-fade to each clip and even run the whole session through tools like Cedar, Auto Align, or similar processing solutions. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other DX Assist workflow videos.